Here's a question that looks impossible. Can sine of x ever equal 2? On the real line, it never does. No solution. But in the complex plane, something remarkable happens. A straight line gets bent, wrapped, and mapped into the single value 2. And that's why this impossible equation has infinitely many solutions. Let's explore the solution. Step 1. Rewrite sine of a complex number. We start with sine of z equals 2. Use the exponential form. Sine of z equals e to the iz minus e to the minus iz over 2i. Substitute it in, then clear the denominator. e to the iz minus e to the minus iz equals 4i. Now set w equals e to the iz, so e to the minus iz is 1 over w. That turns the problem into w minus 1 over w equals 4i. Multiply by w and rearrange. w squared minus 4i, w minus 1 equals 0. That's the key quadratic. Next, we solve for w, then recover z. We're at the key step. Solve the quadratic. w squared minus 4, iw minus 1 equals 0. Use the quadratic formula. w equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Here, a is 1, b is negative 4i, and c is negative 1. Substitute, w equals 4i plus or minus the square root of negative 16 plus 4, all over 2. Negative 16 plus 4 is negative 12. So we have w equals 4i plus or minus square root of negative 12 over 2. Now square root of negative 12 is 2i square root of 3. That gives w equals 4i plus or minus 2i root 3 over 2. Divide by 2, w equals 2i plus or minus i root 3. And the cleanest form is w equals i times 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. We already solved the intermediate variable, w equals i times 2 plus or minus root 3. Now remember what w was, w equals e to the iz. So we can write e to the iz equals i times 2 plus or minus root 3. Next, take the natural log of both sides, iz equals ln of i times 2 plus or minus root 3. Now split the log using the product rule, iz equals ln i plus ln 2 plus or minus root 3. And here's the key identity ln of i is i pi over 2. So we have i z equals i pi over 2 plus ln 2 plus or minus root 3. Divide everything by i. z equals pi over 2 plus 1 over i times that log. And 1 over i is negative i. Final result, z equals pi over 2 minus i ln of 2 plus or minus root 3. And don't forget the full family repeats, plus 2 pi n. We found the exact solutions. z equals pi over 2, plus or minus i times ln of 2 plus root 3. Now let's visualize what that actually means. First, convert to decimals. z is approximately 1.57 plus or minus 1.32i. On the complex plane, we walk the real part first. Slide to the right until the x value hits pi over 2, about 1.57. Now the imaginary part. Go straight up by 1.32. That lands on the point. 1.57, 1.32. And because of the plus or minus, there's a mirror solution. Go straight down by 1.32 to 1.57, negative 1.32. At both of these points, sine of z equals 2. Here's the full solution set. First, the two principal solutions, z equals pi over 2, plus or minus i, ln of 2 plus root 3. Now the key idea, sine of z repeats every 2 pi. So we add the periodic term, z equals pi over 2, plus 2 pi k, plus or minus i ln of 2 plus root 3. And k can be any integer, 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and so on. That's the complete answer. Thanks for watching.